This movie car features a former sexiest man alive and a guy who will never win it. I'm talking about Australia's most famous muscle car, the Mad Max Interceptor. Mad Max's art director wanted a black car that had to look evil. This car was a highly modified Australian Ford XB GT Coupe with huge tires and pipes and a fake supercharger blower. When the filming of Mad Max wrapped, they gave the car to their lead mechanic. He tried to sell it for $7,000 and no one bought it, so he took off the fake blower and used it to drive to work. The film's budget was only $400,000 and it grossed over $100 million worldwide and actually held the Guinness World Record for the most profitable films at the time. After the success, the studio had to buy the car back from the lead mechanic to shoot the sequel, Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior. The higher budget led to making two interceptors that were much more tricked out, including big massive custom gas tanks. The second car was destroyed in Mad Max 2. The original car went on tour for a while, ended up in the Miami Auto Museum, and then in 2015 when they did the remake Mad Max Fury Road, they used it again, but this time they put it on complete steroids and monsterized it. Though this badass version only lasted for this movie and was destroyed at the end. This Mad Max car was built by the same person who did the restoration work on the original screen used car. He replicated the car's props and modifications to complete accuracy from the dog food cans to the weapons. This is the most accurate Road Warrior Mad Max car in existence. I really appreciate you watching and sharing these videos and I can't wait to show you tomorrow's movie car. Apparently I have drastically misunderstood what the word apocalypse means, but oh well, it's not the end of the world.